My name is Lisa, and I'm a single woman working hard every day. Actually, despite appearances, I'm the president of a major company, AOI Corporation. When I was still young, my father passed away, and my mother raised me on her own. Now, I am happily dating my boyfriend, Gail, and enjoying a fulfilling life. Your parents are amazing, Gail. Becoming a doctor is no small feat, is it? And Kimberly is a lawyer. That's really impressive. Right? I'm really proud of my parents and my sister. They all work so hard. Turning effort into reality like that isn't something everyone can do. I'm sure they worked harder than anyone else every day. I really think it's incredible. I wasn't that good at studying, so I chose to become a salaryman. I'm grateful to my parents for letting me pursue my own path. That's not true. Gail, you work for a major company. Really? Yes. That company has a very competitive job interview process, and you were selected out of all the candidates. Oh, come on, you're embarrassing me with all this praise. This is my boyfriend, Gail. Gail grew up in an elite family, where everyone works hard every day. I loved how proudly Gail spoke about his family. Then one day, while we were living our peaceful lives. Hey Lisa, will you marry me? I promise I'll make you happy. What, really? Yeah, I've always thought that with you, I could build a happy family. So, please, marry me. Yes. I'd be delighted. And so, Gail and I got engaged. A few weeks after the proposal, we planned to visit Gail's family home to greet his parents. On the day of the visit, I met up with Gail at our meeting spot. I'm so nervous. I hope everything goes well. It'll be fine, don't worry. We're going together, remember? I hope this gift is okay, what if your parents don't like it? You're worrying too much, oh, it's time. Let's go. I had been nervous for days leading up to our visit to Gail's family home. With my heart pounding, I made a quick greeting at the door and was then led to the living room. Nice to meet you, my name is Lisa. I hope this is to your liking. Oh, there was no need to bring anything, really. It's just a casual meeting, after all. Oh, no. I couldn't come empty-handed. Well, it's true it probably won't suit our tastes. But since you brought it, maybe we can use it as bird food for the ones that come to our garden. What? Bird food? You see, we only eat the finest foods every day. So, we can't be satisfied with such cheap things. You really don't have much sense, do you? These people are Gail's parents and his sister, Kimberly. They called my gift bird food and said I was thoughtless. While I was still reeling from their words, Gail's parents continued. Ah, so you're Lisa, right. I understand you're here to discuss marriage, but we will never approve of you and Gail getting married. What? Wait, why, Dad? Lisa, you grew up in a single-parent household, didn't you? That alone makes a marriage with Gail impossible. We are an elite family, you know. Exactly. We can't accept anyone who isn't an elite into our family. You should have realized that before we had to tell you. This can't be. You grew up poor and in a single-parent household. Someone like you has no class at all. Can't you see you don't match our family? But... You and your mother are probably planning to mooch off our family, right? You are just a gold digger. It's pathetic. I agree with Kimberly. Absolutely. It's easy to see what poor people like you are thinking. Gail, wake up. Marrying her will only turn you into an ADM. Yeah, you're right. I was stupid to think about marrying someone like Lisa. What? Gail, why are you saying this all of a sudden? My whole family agrees. They must be right. They have more life experience than I do. But still. I'm sorry, but let's call off this marriage. You should find someone who matches your level. I hope you find a better man than me. And so, Gail and I broke up. Though I was heartbroken by Gail's rejection, I was far angrier about how they insulted my mother. With these feelings, I returned home and contacted someone. A few days later, Gail, Kimberly, and his parents all came to my house. Well, well. What brings the whole family here so suddenly? Don't play dumb. Acting all innocent. Why didn't you tell us you were the president of our corporation? And we heard you're the chairman's granddaughter. Is that true? If we had known that, we would have gladly approved the marriage. Oh, is that what this is about? I didn't keep it a secret on purpose. 
I planned to tell you after we had properly discussed the marriage. But since it's on the internet, I thought it didn't matter if I told you or not. How are we supposed to know if we didn't see that? Besides, we don't believe everything we read online. That's not my problem. See, some people don't look things up or believe what they read online. Exactly. Isn't that something important that should have been mentioned first? Yeah, at least you should have told me. I wanted you to see me for who I am, not for my title, which is why I didn't mention it. Actually, I had only told Gail that I was an employee at AOI Corporation, not that I was the president. And the chairman is my grandfather. Knowing this, the whole family came to complain. And... Don't give me that noble act. Exactly. Because you didn't tell us, we're in big trouble now. Big trouble? Don't play dumb. You can't say you didn't know. I was terminated as Aoi Corporation's legal advisor. Oh, that's a shame. How can you be so calm? That's not the only problem. Our hospital was the primary health care provider for Aoi Corporation employees. We handled all their annual checkups and health screenings at our hospital. They used our hospital for everything, and now that's all gone. Is that so? With so many employees, I guess that's a big deal. A big deal? Are you mocking us? This is all your fault. Enough. I've heard enough of your complaints. Exactly. How dare you blame Lisa for everything when it's your own fault? Why is the chairman here? And who is this gentleman? Oh, this is Noah, my secretary. He used to be my grandfather's secretary and is extremely capable. Remember well what you said to my dear granddaughter Lisa. What you did to her will never be forgiven. I will never ever forgive you. As Gail and his family continued to shout angrily, my grandfather and Noah, his secretary, arrived. The four who had incurred my grandfather's wrath. We had no idea she was the chairman's granddaughter. That's right. If we had known, we would have welcomed the marriage with open arms. Oh, then why did you oppose it? She didn't tell me, her fiancé, that she was the president of AOI Corporation. It's unheard of to keep that a secret. Lisa didn't tell Gail because it was the chairman's advice. Indeed, I advised Lisa to keep it a secret. The chairman told her that. Yes. Looking back, I'm glad I listened to my grandfather. The thought of becoming family with people like you, it's terrifying. What did you say? Don't get cocky just because you grew up in a single-parent household. That's right. Don't get too full of yourself just because you're the chairman's granddaughter. Exactly. Regardless of the advice, Gail was your fiancé. And as an elite family, it's natural for us to reject someone we see as unsuitable. Don't get carried away. What do you mean, elite family? I've been meaning to ask, what's so wrong with being from a single-parent household? Everything. Growing up poor makes you poor in spirit, too. Exactly. That's why kids from single-parent homes never turn out well. That's a flawed generalization. Many children from single-parent households grow up just fine. If what you say is true, then how do you explain adults like you who insult others despite having both parents? We hold a high status, so we have the right to judge others. Don't blame others for their lack of talent. I see. So, by your logic, the chairman, who also grew up in a single-parent household, is also no good? As soon as they heard Noah's words, Gail and his family, the chairman also grew up in a single-parent household. And yet he's such an outstanding person. Do you think someone from a single-parent household can't become the chairman of a major company? It's not that, but I bet most of them didn't have decent fathers. Their parents probably caused trouble and got divorced. Exactly. They're bound to have half the blood of a loser. Gail, Kimberly, and your parents, you all seem to have a lot of prejudices against single-parent families. We're not saying anything wrong, are we? My father died of illness, and my grandmother died in an accident. You probably imagine gambling or unemployment or something like that. Everyone has their own circumstances. What's important is how much you can empathize with others. Whether you have money or not, if there's good communication between parents and children, the children can grow up happy. Hmm, but if you keep saying things like that, there's no end to it. Most single-parent families are full of no-good people anyway. Uh, when faced with the truth, you try to change the subject. Cowards who can speak their minds directly. People like you have nothing left when you strip away the titles. With all due respect, Chairman, 
Our family was born elite. We run a hospital. To put it simply, we're winners. That's right. While the chairman is a distinguished person now, he must have had a tough time scraping by in the past. Unlike us, who were raised in wealthy families and faced no hardships. Yeah, my sister and I were raised without any problems. Exactly. Can't you see that's a major difference? Gail, Kimberly, and their parents continued to belittle my and my grandfather's circumstances. However, Noah responded. So, if you take away the money, what's left? From what I've seen today, I doubt you have any real friends. Of course, I have friends. Everyone adores us. But do you have genuine relationships? Or are you just being treated like a wallet? Genuine relationships? For example, when you're sick and miss work, do they check in on you? Oh. Now that you mention it, Gail, I've never heard your phone notifications go off when we're together. And come to think of it, Gail, your parents' hospital is quite prestigious, right? Yes, it's large and equipped with the latest facilities. We have top doctors, so patients come from all over the country. We're incredibly busy every day. In that case, losing our company's health checkups shouldn't affect you at all, right? What? If your hospital is that popular, we'll just find another hospital for our company. That sounds like a good idea. There's no need to go to an overcrowded hospital. Wait, there's no need to change anything. Keep it as it is. I refuse. Think about it for a moment. Changing hospitals now would be a hassle. There's no need for you to worry about that. Lisa, my parents are saying it's fine, so just leave it as it is. Why? It's our company's decision to make. We're saying it's fine, so leave it be. Quite desperate for elite doctors, aren't you? As Lisa said, we'll handle our employees' health care with another hospital. There's no problem, right? After all, you are winners. I informed Gail's parents that our company would no longer be using their hospital services. Gail and his family, though angrily defensive, were visibly shaken. It was almost better when they were still putting up a brave front. Realizing this, my grandfather, Noah, and I lost all interest. I never thought you'd be such fools. We're severing all ties with your hospital and your law firm. What? Why? I've already been fired, so the company has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. You forgot to place viewing restrictions on court documents, leaking personal information. We're fully aware of it. How do you know about that? It's obvious. We can't risk our company's reputation. At least I'm unaffected. That's a relief. We've had a long-standing relationship with your company. Let's see what happens now. Wait! Are you firing me too? That's an abuse of power. You can ask your brilliant lawyer next to you to take legal action if you think that's the case. This is horrible. Lisa, we were in a relationship. Help me out. We were engaged. Please help us. There are always people like you who miraculously pass interviews and call themselves elite. I am a genuine elite. Working at a major company proves it. The company is impressive, but you are not, you fool. We apologize for our arrogance. Please reconsider and help us. Chairman, we were wrong. We retract our statements about Lisa. I'll apologize properly, too. It's too late to cry now. Could you please leave? Lisa, I'm really sorry. Let's get married and move past this. Enough. I'm not marrying you. Please, let's start over. I have no interest. You're such an elite, aren't you? Live up to your words. I'm done here. Afterwards, Kimberly was officially fired from her law firm due to her previous mistakes. Gail's parents were completely cut off not only by me but also by my grandfather. Word of this quickly spread among other hospital professionals, severely damaging their reputation. The hospital didn't shut down, but it ran at a loss, and its financial situation became dire. As for Gail, he wasn't fired, but he failed to build trust within the company. He caused interpersonal issues and disrupted business transactions. This affected companies connected to our own, causing significant problems. Eventually, Gail was reassigned to a distant branch, effectively a demotion. Gail and his family quickly fell from grace and now lead miserable lives. As for me... Lisa, I brought some snacks. How about taking a break? Chairman, Lisa's working right now. I'll eat, I'll eat. Noah, let's take a little break. Lisa, saying that won't reduce the stack of documents you need to review. I know, I know. 
I'll get back to work after a short break, okay? All right. I'll go get some coffee. Chairman, you'll have milk tea today, right? Exactly. You know me well. Such a troublesome grandfather and granddaughter. Remember, we'll get back to work after the break. Although I broke off my engagement, I'm still enjoying a fulfilling life every day. My grandfather often brings snacks to the CEO's office to have tea with me. Noah, while often exasperated, always brews delicious coffee. Sometimes, I think Noah knows my grandfather even better than I do. My grandfather seems to trust Noah more than just as a secretary, their relationship is something I find both enviable and a bit mysterious. As I reflect on this, I hope to build a strong relationship of trust with Noah, just like my grandfather has. With a renewed sense of responsibility as a CEO, I'm determined to focus on my work and give my all to elevate the company. If you enjoyed this video, we'd be thrilled if you subscribed to our channel. Subscribing means you'll receive notifications for new videos, keeping you in the loop with all our latest content. Your support is vital to our growth. Let's enjoy and grow together.